fight, the fight You did it in a fight last time Motherfucker, you're addicted to your life You gotta fight Next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now, for Ladies the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall. Weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready? You ready? All right, so here we go from Timo Marina in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. An international fight week, the championship fights all across the board come to T-Mobile. He told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice shot to the body. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going for Lands a double leg take. 
Now working inside the closed guard now. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, huge block! Big leg kick land. Nice strike. Liver kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Two minutes to go here in round one. Oh, nice, nice right here. I think mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Misses with the left hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Trying the flying knee there. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, that could have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Good punch, Lance. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Lands a, lands a right hand upstairs. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had, his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. That's right. He was all over you. He could better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. Get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, a huge block there. Big kick. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And he switches his stance yet again. There's no tell on that leg kick. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and he lands in another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Huge block there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Just missed with the left there. Big kick land. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice punch lands over the top. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! And they separate. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well placed kick there by Lee. 15 seconds. And that left hook landed on the button. All right, round three coming up next. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, well, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Big punch land. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Big kick land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponents. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the state now, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the mid. Okay. Okay. Oh, fades upstairs and it lands rushed to the they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Obvious limp there, his leg hurting for certain. Nice punch by Luke. Huge knee lands in the tie clinch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to big double leg. Low and potentially a critical takedown here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponents. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. 
good corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the key round. Just missing on the high kick there. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice straight punch. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Nice head kick. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. seen you lean on this in the afternoon. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground. I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go out. Oh! What a round. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment, he found the opening, and landed that big strike. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. The next with a right. He got the turn in that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he continues. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip your head. That great work to the body from the clinch. Well, punches and punches for the longer fighter. He landed another strike there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And a miss with the right hook. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Leg kick. Good kicks there by Lee. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.